Hi, I just wanted to take a moment and thank you for watching this tutorial on solid modeling in Top Solid 7. In this final conclusion video, I'm going to introduce you to a few more cool features within Top Solid, and that is the Entities Manager and the Operations Manager. The Entities Manager will go over how you can set visibility and edit different items, and then the Operations Manager, which is our history tree, we're also going to show you how to access that and manipulate our history a little bit. Check back soon for new tutorials, and again, thanks for watching. Okay, welcome back. In this final video, I just want to review a few things with you on this tutorial. I want to show you how to get into your operations tree, and also review a little bit of the Entities Manager for you so you can find your way around to make changes within this part. Let's see how it all works. On the left-hand side of my screen, you see there's this little thick section, and as I put my cursor over it, I get this little hand with a finger, and yes, it's a pleasant finger. I'm going to left click, and that's going to bring up all the managers that I had docked there before. Now, let's pretend that this is the first time I've installed Top Solid, and I don't have any of those managers installed. How do I get them? Well, I'm going to come up here to the 7 pull-down menu, and I'm going to go to View. I'm going to start by bringing forth our Entities Manager. It's another way to bring them on. The Entities Manager's job is simple. It's there to organize everything that you create for you because we know you don't want to do it. It's like layers on steroids full of chocolatey goodness if you want some way of thinking about it. Here we go. What is it? If I look at this you see a bunch of what looks like boxes. If I hit the plus signs next to them they'll show you what's in them. If you notice I have a quantity here as well. This is kind of cool. So I have one shape in this document. That's it. If I want to turn it off, I can turn it off. If I want to change its color, I can click here and change its color. Maybe we'll make it blue. Cool. Maybe we'll make it transparent as well. Why not? Awesome. Next, all of the sketches that we created are also right there. If I hit the plus sign here, I can click through them and you can see them highlighting on the screen. Pretty awesome. Maybe you wanted to go back to that last sketch that we just created for this pocket and make a change. You can double click on it right there to show the driving elements. You can come out here, make this 1.9. You can see it updates. You can double click on it right there to hide it. You have a lot of different ways to work. And that's the moral of the story. Maybe I don't want to see the plane or the axes anymore. So I'm going to go over here to planes and I'm just going to hit that and that, turn them all off. Maybe I don't want to see my points anymore. Cool, I can do the same thing. Let's take these points and turn them off. Now, from here, I also want to show you the Operations Manager. I'm going to show you another way to bring forth a manager. Anywhere you see a black bar like this, you can right-click, and here's a list of all of the available managers in Top Solid. Here, I want to start by bringing forth the Operations Manager. Now, I'm going to dock these on top of each other as well, just like so. Now I can switch between them down here. In the Operations Manager, this is our history tree. Just like every parametric software out there, we have a history tree also. This history tree, though, is better than everyone else's. Okay? Why do I say that? It's simple. When you're doing parametric design, you're typically tweaking the last few features that you worked on. In all the other softwares, they put the first feature at the top of the tree and the last feature at the bottom of the tree. In most designs, the feature tree gets to be like a million miles long. All we did in Top Solid is we inverted this because we believe you want to quickly access your information. Here's what I mean. Remember the first step? It was an extrusion. It's all the way down here. If I take my modeling stage and roll back, you can see there's step one. If I right-click on here, you can see there's some shortcuts for moving this up and down. So I'm just going to use Alt-Up, and you can see you can step through the entire design that you've done. I just wanted to show these few things to you so you can find your way through the model. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and look forward to having you learn from more of our tutorials in the near future.